Hi, everyone. Sure, hope you had a great day today. It was a beautiful one for sure. We saw some increase in high-level clouds. Even had one little lonely shower and thunderstorm, or shower, I should say, across the highest peaks of the Smokies. But that was really about the extent of it. Now, we're going to be tracking in more showers and thunderstorms throughout the day tomorrow and the next couple of days. We're going to talk more about that coming up here in just a moment. Here's your almanac data. Uh, we had a warm one, well above average, nearly 10 degrees above average in Knoxville, uh, also again in Crossville, and same with you folks in Chattanooga. But the Tri-Cities tying their record high, which was set back in 2010. Tri-Cities was the warmest spot, making it to 89 degrees here today. Let's talk about those weather headlines for just a moment. Uh, so we do have uh, increasing clouds overnight tonight, and we are going to talk about uh, a few showers uh, as we wake up early in the morning. But other than that, we're going to see showers and thunderstorms throughout the day on into our Friday. Then we're going to see another round of showers and thunderstorms as we get into the weekend. I wouldn't cancel any outdoor plans, just stay on top of the weather situation. We are looking at a little bit less activity as we get into our Saturday and Sunday, and that's going to be the same with just some garden variety thunderstorms as we head into next week. So let's walk you through the latest future cast model. We'll pick up our timeline here tonight at 7 o'clock, and again, we'll continue to see those showers and thunderstorms kind of increase. Now, I think it's just going to be more shower activity as we get the day started, but that could be with us for the morning rush hour. So something to kind of keep in mind as we get started tomorrow morning. And don't forget, Wake Up With Witcher starts at 7 o'clock in the morning. If you don't have to leave the house until 7, 7.30, Tune in on all East Tennessee weather platforms to get a live weather update of the showers that are happening and how the afternoon is going to progress. But it does look like that ba band of activity will move its way on out well, from sunrise through about noon. And then as we get into the afternoon, we'll heat up the atmosphere. We've got some instability there. And so we'll see some afternoon showers and thunderstorms kind of firing back up as we track another disturbance that's going to be swinging its way into our area as we get into our say Saturday, Sunday, Monday time frame. So rainfall forecast just through Friday night where it's going to be hit and miss. Some areas could pick up anywhere from a quarter to half an inch of rain. Some areas may not quite see nearly as much rain. And again, I don't think it's going to be a total washout, but we do have the elevated rain chances for sure as these disturbances swing their way on in. Friday's temperatures, nice. We're going to start off with temperatures in the 60s to get the day started. Then we're going to climb into the low 80s, so a little bit cooler than what we experienced today but still above average weather is on the way for our finally Friday. And as we highlight uh, the forecast size, really just around the, the area, we're all going to be in the upper 70s to low 80s. So a little bit closer to those seasonal averages, but still slightly above. 81 degrees on Friday will be in the upper 70s on Saturday, thanks to clouds and the threat for some scattered showers. By Sunday, less coverage of rainfall, some afternoon isolated thunderstorms possible, and it should be a little bit warmer. We'll be in the low 80s. Now, when you look at our rain chances, they are going to be elevated as we get into our Friday and Saturday, but again, you can't look at these numbers and think that it's going to be a total washout all day long, because that's not the case. All this tells you is that where you live, we're likely to see some sort of rainfall around the area. Doesn't tell you the timing, duration, intensity. Doesn't tell you rainfall total. So let's talk about the rest of the story. Now, when you look at the upper level pattern in the atmosphere, uh, this is 500 millibars. So this is vorticity. This is also way up in the atmosphere. But this lets us know that waves are moving their way on into the area. And so what we look at are these little kinks in the atmosphere, these little waves to push on through. So we're going to see those showers and thunderstorms pick up as we head through the day on Friday into Saturday morning. We'll see, uh, again, a chance for some, after, uh, some showers and thunderstorms and just kind of some lingering afternoon storms as we get through the weekend, but that really should be about the extent of it. We're not looking at anything majorly severe at this point of the game, but what we are going to be talking about is uh, maybe some gustier winds, the possibility of some, oh, maybe quarter inch, half inch diameter hail, but not damaging hail. Now let's switch to the rainfall product. And again, as you track these storms, you're going to see how the rain's going to fill in around the region. Now this is a, a lower resolution forecast, but this just gives us the idea that these parade of storms are going to continue to swing their way into the area. So from Friday into Saturday, Saturday into Sunday, Sunday into Monday, you'll see how this moisture is just going to continue to surge. By the middle and latter part of next week, some of the models indicating maybe some heavier showers to roll on into the area, which would kind of coincide with what the Weather Prediction Center is talking about. And we'll highlight that in a moment, in just, uh, in just a moment as well. So temperatures still staying above average next Tuesday, Wednesday, probably a little bit warmer. We're going to be in the mid 80s for the most part, uh, low to mid 80s anyways over the next seven days low temperatures are gonna be nice we're gonna be in the 60s so enjoy that at least it's some nice comfortable mornings even though we're talking about the threat for some scattered rain showers from around sunrise on friday and we'll probably do it again on saturday so when you look at the weekend forecast just keep the umbrellas handy stay on top of the weather situation like i mentioned uh, download the east tennessee weather app it's an easy way to stay on top of the weather situation stay weather alert stay weather aware each and every day when storms are firing up especially for the weekend i mean it's the weekend we want to go out and play right uh, so you 
your temperature outlook from May 8th through May 12th. This is what I was talking about. We're going to stay above average, so it looks like those 80s will stick with us. Uh, rainfall forecast, so that might be trending above average as well, as we just mentioned with that future cast on rainfall. And that may stick with us all the way from May 10th through the 16th and with temperatures and also possibly precipitation as well. So once again, as I mentioned, make sure you stay on top of the weather situation by downloading the East Tennessee Weather app. It's easy to do so. Just go to the Google Play Store or the App Store and search East Tennessee Weather, all one word. The interactive radar is going to be your best friend. Why? Because it gives you current, past, and future radar of two hours. That, my friends, helps tell the story of what you can do as we head through the afternoon hours. All right, we sure hope you have a great night. And, of course, we'll see you back here. Don't forget, Wake Up with Witcher starts at 7 o'clock in the morning on all East Tennessee weather platforms for a live weather update, and we'll be talking about those storms. See you soon.